got into spinning in uh, college. My mother bought me a turntable. I was a music major in college, and so I had a bit of an interest in music, but uh, nothing as far as DJing. But then for Christmas, I show up and my mom got me a turntable. So I was like, well, I guess I better take this seriously and learn how to do it. I mean, being able to DJ at the sporting events is... It's a real privilege, it's a real treat for me because I'm a sports fan, I'm a Colorado guy, and I love the Broncos, and I love the Nuggets, and I love the Buffs, so to be able to actually be part of the atmosphere and part of the presentation and the entertainment is just a dream come true. The players will uh, request songs at any point, uh, a month leading up to game day, sometimes the night before game day, so I try to incorporate what it is that they want to hear on top of what it is that I want to play. For me, you know, scratching is almost like a, uh, a jazz improvisation. It's it's me just improvising a rhythm on on a sound or on a, on the record. One of the players with more of an eclectic taste, and this is well documented. A lot of people have written about this. Uh, Von Miller has um, tastes ranging from Nirvana to Norman Greenspan to Future to to all sorts of stuff all over the place. So as far as the play with the most wide-ranging um, taste, I'd say Vaughn is, is far and away the guy that really keeps you on your toes. <laughs> Obviously, I want to be out here. I want to be interacting with the fans and feel like I'm part of the game down on the field. So come hell or high water, I'm going to find a way to be down on this field doing my thing. I've got a couple of them.